was a very bad day at the office. Your thoughts on the, on the game? Pretty pathetic. Um, give Marlow some credit. I thought they did a job on us again. We said to the players, this is for us, it's a long running. Um, complacency is something we've got to deal with. But we were very poor today. Um, I thought the first half they've only had two attempts on goal and we've dominated the first half without showing any real quality. I thought our passing was very poor. It was a long ball. Um, came in one down, didn't really deserve that. But in the second half, it's on us to force the issue. We, we tried. Don't want to go into the referee's performance. The players and the fans think... He was, he was very poor and made some very poor decisions and penalties and everything else, but we were very poor today, thoroughly well beaten. And I just hope it's the wake-up call we need. I'll be honest, I'm not sure it is. There's, there's far too much complacency in our dressing room, far too much talk, not enough to do. And I've just said to them, and uh, I, I hope they go for the weekend and they're as miserable as I am and the thought of, of what 11 will go out on, on Tuesday, because... The vast majority of them have no right to be in that team on Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, Fleet, it's a big game for them. To us, it's just another game. You know, we, we know where we are in the table and what we're trying to achieve. But I'm concerned that Marlow are a potential playoff opponent. And in both games, they've done a job on us. And we've just not been good enough. And that's with poor decisions and everything else. We've scored two goals in three games. One a penalty and one a set piece. Um, but that's not just blaming the attacking part. We attack together, we defend together. We've had 15 set pieces today. I'm really at like scoring. And to be honest, there's a penalty for us. I think the players are going late and penalty with Joel's drop one. But not good enough. Um, only the second time this season we've lost by more than one goal. Um, but generally a very poor day for us. I'm very disappointed for the fans. It looked like a half decent attendance today. And um, we just haven't played. And. Uh, it's now about the reaction in the, in the Derby game on Tuesday night. And that, that's the only plus that we've got again Tuesday night, whether it's Fleet or anybody else. I'm just pleased we've got another game because we, we were very poor today, which is disappointing because last time we were here, we were very poor and we made big strides last weekend. We played very well. And, and the 1-0, I think, flatters the opposition. But today there were seven or eight players in particular that uh, massively underperformed. Frustrating day, especially in front of goal. How are we going to get back into goal scoring habits? Our well, players got to take some responsibility. Um, it's difficult. We've got quite an experienced dressing room here for once, and you know, they look at the league table and they see that we were 10, 11, 12 points clear of third. And it, it's my job to motivate them. Clearly, today I've done a good enough job, and we brought in some extra players. Obviously, we lost Dennis an hour before kickoff, and in our Touchwood, his family is okay, they've had a car accident and we just wish him all the best and uh, Touchwood we believe they are, so that's the most important thing of the day. So obviously we lost Dennis before kickoff. Um, but overall as a team, we're having, we're having a poor few weeks. I know we won the last two games, didn't concede a goal, but um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't really think this had been coming somewhere. Um, you know, we, we've, got to, we've got to dig ourselves out of it and people have got to stop perhaps talking that they're going to dig themselves out of it and get on do with it because there's some very good players here. We're entitled to an off day. I think that's our second defeat in 12. I don't want to get carried away. With the exception of Royston, we hadn't lost in all those games. So it's the end of overall a decent run. And I think we were four wins on the spin before today. And it is a cliche wake-up call. Whether or not we are going to wake up, I don't know. And, and it's, it clearly needs freshening up. And as I said, some people that have, have found themselves comfortably in the team uh, I've got to realise that they're not undroppable and this season doesn't end for another two months yet. And, and we've still got work to be in the playoffs and we've certainly got work on that performance to stay as high in the playoffs as we can to try and get home advantage. And then we've got, obviously, the massive part of the playoffs. And, um, you know, it was a very short conversation after the game, as much as I'm furious and I let them know that. I'd like to think they know that, but I said there's, there's too much comf comfort in the dressing room at the moment, which I can understand the reasons, as I say, but um, they've got to dig themselves out of it, or there'll have to be changes. And you know, I, I think if there's any time to make changes, it's now. We do have a, a, a buffer that we need, clearly. And as much as people may criticise to say we shouldn't be talking about the playoffs yet or thinking to the playoffs, you know, John Young goes took a big whack last week, he couldn't train this week, so he was protected. The warm-up went okay, so we protected him. Obviously, we didn't have Dennis today. 
Um, I'm not going to risk them either on, on Tuesday if they're not fully fit. You know, ultimately, our season is now going to hang on the last week in April, but we've also got to make sure we get there. And it'd be nice to have momentum. And today we wanted to put a marker on Marlow, who could well be our opponents. And I'm sure they're very hopeful that they are our opponents in the playoffs. And, and good luck to them. You know, they've done a job. Joel's made two or three great blocking saves, which we know that's what he's good at. His shot stopping is excellent. But we didn't have enough pressure on the set pieces. And um, I think you've got to give Marlow again great plaudits for the way that they defended throughout the game and caught us on the counter attack. And obviously the third one is, you know, a fluke because of, you know, Piercy, you know, he's not a goalkeeper. But at the end of the day, it is now about our reaction at Fleet. Um, but it's just another game. As I said, I'm just pleased that we're playing again really soon. You mentioned Fleet. We had there on Tuesday looking to do the double over them. How confident are you going into that game? Right now, not at all. Um, I don't know what Fleet's result has been today. They've been on a great run. They've, they're a club that's put themselves in a very difficult financial position. I've got a lot of credit for their manager and players that are you know, owed money and are carrying on playing. They've got a fantastic spirit and we need to, to that, some of that spirit's got to rub off here because we've got some very, very good players here. And I don't want to hit a panic button on one defeat. You know, we're second in the table by some considerable distance. You know, we, we may get towards 90 points this season and, and not get automatic promotion. So, you know, for what we set out to achieve at the start of the season, we're, we're absolutely fine. And, you know, I don't want to overreact to one really awful performance. Um, but you've also got to have heart. And there's, there's too much, as I said, too, too much talking, I think, of, well, we'll just turn up and it'll happen. And that hasn't happened today and we've not played any football and the passing has been well, non-existent in the first half. It was just thump it and, you know, keep constantly screaming. We brought young Jordan on who, you know, he's a young lad. He made, made a little bit of an impression. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, you know, Fleet's got an amazing spirit, but it's just another game. Uh, it's... They'll want to make it into a big derby and the biggest game. And, you know, most importantly for me is that we show our absolute respects to their wonderful chairman who suddenly passed. And their players have done a fantastic job. But it's just another game. Um, ultimately, we're going to be in the playoffs. We want to stay second in the playoffs for the home advantage. Um, and it's about putting on a dance like better performance than that have done today. Or we'll, we'll get badly beaten. There's no question. Because they're, they're showing all the heart and qualities that we're not at the moment. We've dragged out results, we've been on a great run, um, it's ended badly today. Now it's all about the reaction, which is a, a football cliche. How are we going to react on Tuesday night? I'm, I'm almost as interested as everybody else is to see how we do react. Can we react? Can we re react? We reacted after Royston. There were a lot of reasons why we had a very bad day at Royston. That's not making excuses, but there were reasons. There weren't really today. There weren't a lot of reasons today. Yeah, Dennis wasn't available. But that was that was very poor. This this had a lot more problems to me than Royston away, where you know we were struggling for numbers and unavailabilities. And Royston are a very good side, and they played very well on the night. We haven't got those excuses today. You know, we were one player missing. I said before the game today that was fifteen of really good players in that squad today. So we've got a lot of questions to answer. We the selection is going to come down on, on me and John and my staff, and what we do, how we react, and. Um, but that's something we can now look forward to. You know, we, we need to go there and react. So, uh, you know, it's it's a derby. We hope the fans get there. Um, and it's just another game. Then we've got to go to Kempston, which is, you know, another longish trip. And they're pushing for the playoffs as well. Hunger shouldn't be able to beat us. No way should Hunger and Desire be able to beat us. You know, we have to show that because then we know that our technical ability on most occasions will win us games. Hunger and Desire, sorry, that's not enough today it was they were unorganised they defended very well they got a little bit lucky they got some decisions it shouldn't be enough cheers